Uh, what up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, man. Um, before I get into this video, am I the only one who feels something in my spirit that something is going to take place here in America that's going to shake the world up just like how it did in 2020? Um, now, I know in 2024, technically, in, 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 in Babylon, we're in 2024, but the new year doesn't technically start until March around the springtime. I think it's like the middle of March or towards like the beginning of April. Um, and that's when I feel like something's going to take place. Something big is going to happen. So the news just shared this. Let me share this with you guys. Uh, it's trending on Twitter right now. Hold up. All right. It should be on the right side of me. Uh, it's trending on Twitter. Most of you guys probably already seen this already, but this is on. This was on the news, and we all know how the news likes to get down, fear monger, get people scared in a panic state, fearful because that's how they can control the sheep. That's how they can control the goats. Okay, this is what they do over and over again. But I have to add up the things that I've been seeing, and I'm just adding up the pieces of the puzzle. Uh, because one thing about the elites, they like to do, they, they know what's going to happen. They, you know, the quote unquote insiders, they know what's going to take place before the general pl public does, and they prepare ahead of time. Okay. Um, so this is what it says right here the eclipse tips. Remember, this is all they shared this on the news, which is insane. Okay. Schedule errands and appointments early. Well, actually, let's read the description first. This eclipse coming April 8th, 2024, has a lot of uh, spiritual significance. No one knows what's to come after but God. All right, um, so it pretty much shows these are the tips that they give people, okay? Have communication plan with family and friends. Have cash on hand in case of limited internet access. We saw what happened when the grid went down with the cellular, you know, AT&T, Sprint, uh, Cricket, T-Mobile. Uh, they were down, I think, five, six hours, uh, which I believe was a test. I believe that that was already pre-planned because remember they want chaos in order for them to enroll the market of the beast in order for them to enroll out their cbdc digital currency they have to induce some type of fear some type of panic so people so people the sheep and the goats can submit to what they're trying to push the agenda on you know so we all know what in 2020 2021 what the agenda was you know once again the word that you can't say on social media so i'm doing this okay that was the agenda and uh, so as you're saying, like having cash on hands, okay, uh, in case of limited internet access, which I believe that's going to happen. I think that, that's Bible prophecy where the Bible says uh, that there will be a famine of the word. So there's going to be a time period, guys. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen next week, next month, but in, in our lifetime, you know, God willing, we're still alive 10, 20 years from now. Uh, there's going to be no internet access. And the only way you're going to be able to use internet is if you take the mark. Okay. That's what I believe. Uh, they even show you in the movies the predictive programming and leave the world behind um, and things of that sort. So it says, buy necessary groceries and gas. Uh, let me pause right there real quick, okay? So what about the electric cars? Because they gave people $7,500 for buying electric cars, which the government, it's, it's, they're all in on it. There's a reason why they gave people $7,500 uh, um, on taxes, for buying electric cars. This is all part of the agenda, guys. Like, I could already see it. Okay, hold on. Let me read the next one real quick. Now, also with the groceries too, guys, people ask me, you know, Mark, should I stock up on food? Personally, I'm not. You know, just to keep it real with you guys, uh, I'm not. You know, I have a garden in my backyard. I have orange trees, apple trees. I have a whole bunch of fruits. Uh, I've been practicing fasting for the past five, six years. Uh, so I, I'm not thinking about food. I'm not thinking about eating. Um, I'm going to think about survival. You know, uh, I know how to fish. You know, and I know I, you know, if that, that if the time comes to that, you know, I'll, I'll be prepared. And even the Bible says in Matthew chapter five, or chapter six, verse 25 to 34, it's, you know, Christ is telling people not to do that. OK, if, think about it, guys. When the Hebrews were in the desert, right, the most high rain food on them. You really don't think he won't do it to you if you're in that state. You really don't think God won't send an angel your way to give you food. I have testimonies when I was in jail. And I said, I'm not eating this jail food because jail food is, I'd rather starve to death than eat that food. Just keep it real. And some random Indian guy, some 40-year-old guy, this is, I was in a room with 40, uh, with like 80 people actually. Out of all the people, he came to me and gave me chips. He gave me Cheetos. He gave me like Doritos. He just randomly came to me and said, hey, he's a big old bag. He said, take as much as you want. That's the angel, bro. You can't make that up. Like you, this, So I'm not worried about, I have so many testimonies guys were like, God provided. So I'm not, my faith is so strong. Remember, the Bible says in Corinthians, 
that faith is a spiritual gift. So I'm not worried about stocking up on food and water. Now, if you want to do that, I'm not against that. Do what you got to do. Okay, so next one up, it says, oh, I can see this happening, you guys. I can see this happening. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Expect heavy traffic and long lines for lo local services. So what happens when the grid goes down? People are not able to charge their electric cars. Okay, uh, pe there's a Bible verse uh, that says that people will, let me actually, let me find this verse for you guys and I'll continue. Wow, this is so real, guys. I feel this in my spirit that this is going to take place, guys. It says in 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 17, this is the book of the Apocrypha that the Romans Catholic removed out of the Bible. So make it very clear, just like they removed the book of Enoch and many other books. Okay, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Wow, wow, wow. This is the guys, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this is going to happen. All right, let me, let me uh, put back the picture. Okay, so um, expect heavy traffic lines and long lines. So what happens about the electric cars? What's going to happen about them? Okay, um, well, what, what happens if the grid goes off again? Just like what happened in Maui when the fires turned uh, was, was on, when the, everything burned, okay, which is all planned to as well because they want to turn that into a smart city. Even San Francisco, not to jump off topic, I was just in San Francisco two days ago. That place is a total dump. I mean, it's crazy. Like 10 years ago, that was one of the greatest cities of all time. And then fast forward 10 years later, you know, people blame the liberal. They blame go woke, go broke, which, you know, there is some truth to that. But at the end of the day, the, that's Satan's agenda to turn San Francisco to a smart city. Pretty soon in San Francisco, you're not going to be able to drive, you know, a real car. It's going to be all AI. OK, I'm telling you, San Francisco is going to be one of the first smart cities. Same thing with Maui. It's all planned, guys. All scripted reality. And people falling for all over again. Okay, so when the grid gets shut down, right? Electric cars, you know, people are going to be stuck in, you know, the highway. Their car is going to be dead. They're going to be causing up traffic. And people are going to be stuck, you know, going to be stuck in their cars. And, you know, I see this happening, guys. Now, I'm not saying I see this happening next month, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I see this happening in the foreseeable future. Um, you know, people are going to try to leave the cities, but they're not going to be able to. Okay, and I feel like in this, in this, type of climate especially as a man you have to be prepared especially if you're a husband or you got children you got to be ready to walk 20 miles 30 miles to get to the next location you got to be ready to have a backpack that's 20 30 pounds with you know your boxers you know toothbrush clothes flashlight you want to get a watch you want to get you know you know think you know be prepared for things of that nature um you know, when the gas is when the gas is full, you're not going to be able to leave, guys. You're not going to be able to leave the city. This is Bible prophecy. I see this happening in the foreseeable future, okay? Um, and this is going to induce a lot of panic, a lot of fear. Now, what what are they going to do? What are Satan's uh, minions and Satan's kingdom going to do? They're going to come up with a solution uh, that's going to be, you know, it's going to be really, really bad, okay? This, like I said, guys, you know, we have Elon Musk who wants to put a, um, a microchip or whatever in your forehead. I mean, this is just weird times. And I know some people might get this message and they might be like, oh, this is kind of fearful, or, Mark, you know. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'm excited for the fall of Babylon. Like, let it fall, let it burn. Woo! Let it burn, let it burn. I'm excited, especially when everyone's going to have to go, out, go outside their homes. No one's going to be a slave to social media all over their phone. No, this, not, this is going to be useless. This right here. It's going to be useless, okay? When you can't turn your phone, when there's no data, when there's no connection, okay? When you can't call, you know, your friend, your brother, your sister because it, you know, the grid is off. Yes, woo! We, we know how much friends we're going to meet, other believers, other people who are awakened. You know, that's what I'm excited, guys. I'm excited for the fall. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Yes, <laughs> like, this, I'm happy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm happy for the fall. Let this place get judged. And I know some people who are of the world, you know, they're going to have a difficult time, you know, dealing with the judgment when God, you know, is, you know, when the plagues come, when, when the tribulation comes, when, you know, all, you know, the fire and brimstone comes, you know, people are going to have a hard time. And, you know, speaking of that too, in these days, in these last days, guys, living in sin, here, let me, let me I'll just leave that there. Living in sin, I wouldn't want to be living in sin in these times, guys, because just to tell you that straight up. You know, now if you're struggling with a sin, you got to repent, bro. Fast, pray it off. Uh, that's what you should be seeking for. You do not want to be, you know, on drugs. You don't want to be getting high. You don't want to be getting drunk. Guys, we got to be sober minded. 
Okay, in these times, I I, I do. I mean, I, I I mean, we should never be wanting to live in sin, but especially when when all these signs are here. And now let's show you guys the other signs too, which proves that something's gonna take place very soon. Let me prove it to you guys. Okay, all the insiders. Okay, J, it says J P Morgan, the CEO of Chase. Jamie Dimon sells a hundred million of stock in nation's largest bank for the first time. Okay, so he's unloading on his stock. Mark Zuckerberg is unloading on the stock. I made a video a couple days ago. It was titled, They're Preparing to Shut Down the Grid, and I showed you guys how Jeff Bezos, I think he sold six or eight billion of stock. All the big guys, all the people who know what's to come, who are preparing, you know, Mark Zuckerberg building the bunker, he knows what's to come. Even the Bible says the kings of this earth will seek to hide and to escape the wrath of the Lamb. They know what's coming. All these insiders, all these elites, which I hate to even call these elites because they're really cucks because they serve Satan. So, you know, but just what the, that's what they call in the, you know, conspiracy theory community, the elites, right? They know what's to come. They know they're unloading. Okay, so, and this just proves my point. It's the same thing what happened in 2020 with the you know what, the C word. They, they were unloading their stocks, too, before the planned pandemic because it was all planned. Just like what's going to happen is already planned. They know what's to come. Okay. Um, and I just feel like a lot of people don't, they don't, they just, you know, too busy with the NFL, NBA game and, you know, entertainment, caring about what celebrities, you know, are doing or maybe just high all day. Uh, chasing females all day or, you know, women chasing attention, seeking attention. A lot of people are just distracted, man. Living in sin. Like I said, guys, you don't want to be living in the sin in these times, man. You know, you know, people say it might be fear mongering. You know, this is a fear of Yah, the fear of the Most High. Keep that in you. He will preserve you. Having wisdom, most importantly. So the big guys, the cucks, <laughs> the cuckity cuck cucks, they already know what's to come, man. But the question is to you. Like, I'm also going to be buying a bike. You know, now I could walk. I think I could walk, you know, 15, 20 miles and I'll probably get tired. But I think I'm going to get a bike, man. Just a little two, three hundred dollar bike. Get to A to Z uh, because, you know, just got to be prepared, man. They're preparing. Why, 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 why shouldn't I? Now, like I said, I'm not against if you stock up on food and water, you know, but personally me, I'm not my spirit's not led for me to do that. Um, that's just that's just, you know, me. But if you want to do that, do what you got to do. And uh, yeah, I just want to you know warn you guys. They know what's to come. The question is, do you something is going to take place? And I remember back in 2020, I think it was around February. If you were subscribed to my channel, I was spamming videos telling people judgment's going to come because I saw prophecy that aligned with the Bible in Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 to 15, how the 400 years of slavery was up and I knew something was going to come. And I wish I wish I would have made a lot more videos back then because there was a lot of things that I was, you know, with the most I was showing me, but I didn't want to be wrong. I didn't want to, you know. You know, but nah, I'm not doing that no more because I feel it in my spirit. You know, the Most High has sent me not only to be a messenger, but also to be a, a watchman, to watch over and to, you know, to show the flock what's to come. Now, this is not fear meshing. Like I said, guys, stop living in sin. Uh, repent if you if you haven't already. Most importantly, keep God's commandments, and that's a light into your path, just as it says in Proverbs chapter 7. I love you guys so much. If you guys made this far, likes, share, share this video, man. Share it, share it, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.